Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the probability of these events occurring. So what's happening is we have one card is selected out of a standard deck of 52 playing cards and we're going to find the probability that the card is either a red card, a club, a red card and a club, a card greater than five and less than or equal to nine, a face card and a diamond. So we're gonna look at each of these individually. Remember that the theoretical probability is the um, number of successes, anything that you would consider a success, divided by the total amount. And this is in theory, if you were to do this an infinite number of times, um, what would happen? If you did an experimental probability, it's not always going to be exactly the same. Uh, just because experimental is not always equal to theoretical probability, but over the long term, it becomes the same thing. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to look at what's the probability of selecting a red card. And for this, it's important to understand the makeup of the deck of cards. So if I come down here, I'll just kind of talk about what is in a deck of cards in case you need to know. Um, there are four suits in a deck of cards. And those suits are the diamonds, the hearts, the clubs, and the spades. And I can't draw very well, but um, those are the four different suits that you would have. There are 13 cards starting with an ace, which counts as a one, and a two all the way up through a, um, sorry, a 10. And then you have the face cards, a jack, a queen, and a king. So these are considered face cards because they have a face on them. Okay, um, so a lot of you probably already know the makeup of cards, but just in case you don't, um, there are four of each card because each suit. So I have four aces, one heart, one diamonds, one clubs, one spade. So that's basically the makeup. Um, these two, the hearts and the diamonds are red cards and the clubs and the spades are black cards. So if, that's, if they're asking for um, something with a color, that's what you're looking at. Okay, um, so what we have, a red card, the probability of a red card, half of our deck of cards is going to be a red card. So you could either say that it's 26 out of 52 or one half. Again, with probabilities, you can express them as a fraction or you can express them as a decimal or as a percent. For the rest of these, I'm just going to put them as a fraction, but just know that it is acceptable to write it any one of these ways. For the next one, we have the probability that it's a club. And so if you recall, I said that there were 13 different cards, ace through king. So that means that there are um, 13 clubs. So we have a 13 out of 52, or since we have four suits, it's a one in four chance of selecting a club. The next one that it asks for is the probability that it is red and a club. So with this particular one, if you go back to my really terrible drawing down here, um, the club is and the spade is always black. So these two are always black and the heart and the diamond are always red. Okay, so the probability that it's both a red and a club and always means that it's happening at the same time so the probability of being both red and a club is zero. There are no cards in the deck of cards that are both red and a club because the club is always black. So it is possible to have a 0% probability. It's also possible to have a 100% probability. Like if they said, what is the probability of selecting a red card or a black card? Then you would have 100% probability. Okay, the next one, a card greater than five and less than or equal to nine. So that means that we can either select, um, because it's greater than, it doesn't include it. So we would start with a six, a six, a seven, an eight. And since it includes a nine, it can be a six, seven, eight, or nine would meet the criteria of a card that is greater than five and less than or equal to nine. 
So if I were to write this using notations, typically we use x as our random variable. That's just what we're going to select. Um, so we would pick a value that is x is greater than 5, but less than or equal to 9. Okay, so since there's four cards that meet this criteria, and there are four suits, so there are four here, if I count these, six, seven, eight, or nine, that's where this four came from. And I have four different suits because I could have a six of hearts or a six of diamonds or a six of clubs or a six of spades, and I can do that for each of these cards. I really have four times four or 16 cards that meet the criteria of being greater than five and less than or equal to nine. So we could put this as 16 over 52, which if I divide both of these by four, that reduces to four over 13. So we have a four out of 13 chance of selecting a card that is greater than five and less than or equal to nine. All right, the last one that I wanna look at, there's a lot of different scenarios that can happen with a deck of cards, but the last one that I wanna look at is what is the probability that it is a face card? That means it's a jack, queen, or a king. There are um, three face cards and a diamond. So because we are looking for it specifically being a diamond, there are only going to be three cards out of the entire deck that are both a face card and a diamond at the same time. So this would be our probability. And if you wanted to, you could convert any of these to decimals or percents. I just chose to leave them as fractions because a lot of times that's how they are expressed. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you get a chance to subscribe, please do so.